Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for Ark Survival Evolved. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame a dung beetle. So if you guys enjoy this video and find it useful and informative, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links to this you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. So with that out of the way, what I'm going to be showing you to do is to tame a dung beetle. Now, most of the time you can find dung beetles in caves around the arc maps. However, on the uh, Scorched Earth DLC, you can find them in the desert area. And on the Ragnarok map, you can find them around the volcano areas. So its preferred food is, of course, dung. And if you want to tame them faster, the size of the feces matters quite a bit so obviously you'll want to use large feces so also very important with regards to the dung beetle why you want these well you put dung in the dung beetles inventory mind you it does not have a lot of space in its inventory so you will have to level that up after you tame it and over time as you put it on wonder it will produce uh fertilizer and oil also in order to tame them the best way to go about it is to have a ghillie suit. I showed you what level the ghillie suit can be unlocked at, as well as bug repellent. You can try and put them in a trap, but it's pointless to do that. Also, as you can see, there are several nasty things in this area, so I'm going to clear out the area before I start the taming. And you can do this without using a ghillie suit and the bug repellent, but it just makes things a bit more complicated. One a uh, bad step and the dog beetle will aggro on you it does have a very small aggro radius so you have to get quite close to it to aggro on you but it can still do that whilst it is aggroed it will not be tameable and so you'll have to fly out a render distance and fly back into it once it has calmed down this is of course a passive tame and so that is why you want to take the extra precaution of having the bug repellent and the ghillie suit. As I said, it is not necessarily a must, but it does help the situation. I have tamed these things in the past without the use of a ghillie suit. So with that being said and done, put the ghillie suit on, apply the bug repellent. And as with any passive tame, you place its preferred food in your last action bar action slot even so obviously it's kind of underneath my wyvern so i'm going to have to wait for it to move out but we just sneak up behind it you don't necessarily have to be crouching i'm only crouching because i'm underneath the wyvern so i'll just walk up to it feed it when prompted and as you can see a large dung does do quite a lot of taming now obviously with this being a passive tame between its first and second feed the timers will be longer so it will take a lot longer in terms of waiting for the second feed after that it should go pretty quick you can use any size feces but if you want to maximize your taming effectiveness and get this creature at a higher level you will want to use the large feces so let's go up to it okay as you can see it's still not hungry we'll just have to wait for it to be hungry i'll put the next one in my zero slot i'll get rid of all the stuff that i don't need i've got plenty of time now i know for a fact that the volcano will not erupt because it had just erupted before as i was preparing stuff for this video so that is a good thing but if you are on ragnarok and the dung beetle walks into the dried up lava do be careful because it can end up pretty pretty bad for you obviously the lava will be more or less a instant kill so you don't really want that okay still doesn't want any more food i'm just gonna stay on my wyvern i suggest you do the same on your mount just so that you have the best view possible around you so you can see what is coming up on you. you don't want stuff sneaking up on you also very important to note that on most maps 
the dung beetle can be found in the caves and obviously in the caves there will be all sorts of nasty things that you'll have to deal with however thanks to ragnarok which is a free dlc you can get loads of these here at the volcano which is what i recommend that you do and then you can transfer them to whatever map you prefer playing on okay the same rule of thumb applies to the dung beetle when it is in a cave what you'll want to do is you will want to kill off all of the other creatures and critters to clear out the area and keep it clear for the taming process okay let's see what's going on here okay it's still not hungry so as you can see i've already fed it one uh large animal feces but it's taking quite a while for the second feed this is perfectly normal this is what you should expect and after the second feed the third feed should be a lot quicker i'll just pick these up because we might need them now you get the large animal feces from animals like the wyvern the t-rex will do that and there's quite a few the bronto will also give out a uh, large feces so will the the Plodocus. so as you can see there is a bit of a theme there basically if a dino is large it will give large feces so i'll just drop some of these things because i feel like i'm a bit heavy and obviously don't eat the feces because it will obviously cause you to lose health possibly kill you depending on how many you eat don't do what i just did there so there we go that is the second feed so i think it should need two more feeds hopefully it does not walk into any danger i'm just going to stay behind it now because it won't take that long for the second feed now i've got to cut this out but i want to show you guys and especially the new arc players what it takes to tame one of these creatures Okay, let's go up to it again. Oh, okay, I need to put food in my last action bar right there, and we'll do that. All right. Also, at the end of this video, or after I tame this guy, I'll show you exactly how to get these guys to produce oil and the fertilizer. Uh, I use a method with the cage and I put them in a cage I then put them on wonder and fill them up with feces it does not matter what size feces after that because it will produce oil after a while of wandering around in the cage the cage does stop them from glitching through walls which these things can do when they are on wonder once you've tamed it up you can pick it up like you see me here and you can also mount a creature which is quite interesting so this is what i'm going to be showing you right here right now all right so this is my base as you can see i've got the wooden cages inside them i have dung beetles all around and they are set to wander and i have taken out the animal feces and the oil but this is what they will produce they will also produce oil from the feces that you put them in now as you can see from their weight of this particular dung beetle that i showed you it does not have a lot of weight so you will have to level that up i suggest only leveling up weight in these creatures because they come with really really bad weight so this is kind of the way i set it up and of course by putting them in a cage and setting them on to wander they cannot glitch through walls which they can do sometimes depending on uh the circumstances the way they do tend to glitch through walls is basically when another dung beetle pushes another one out through the wall and then you end up losing it and so yeah you don't want that it's the safest way it doesn't take a lot of building the cages are quite easy to craft as well that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you have please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content to the channel also for those interested you can always find me on the Sethtopia discord links to this you can find down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment from myself until next time stay safe folks